topic of this video is Build and deploy Linux kernel from source code. Since you have landed here, I assume you have a good reason. Want to build a new Linux kernel and replace the existing one. No matter if you are just curious about how it's done, or really have a specific mission in mind to enable or disable specific options, how will support? I hope you will learn something useful here. I will start with a brief introduction of the steps I used to accomplish this task. Start with checking existing Linux kernel version. The command is uname-r. Then update Linux system. By the way, I'm using Ubuntu. The command is apt update or apt get update. As part of the update process, let's install some packages required for kernel build, including git, fake root, build essential, ncurses dev, xzutils, libssl dev, bc. Afterwards, checking compiler GCC version to make sure it's there. To use menu config tool, we also need flex and bison. After the tools are in place, go to kernel.org to download Linux kernel source code. Unzip it to home directory and change the owner from root to user. Copy existing config file from boot folder before run menu config utility to change the options for kernel build. Now we are ready to spend hours to build Linux kernel. Use nproc to find out how many processors in the system. The basic rule is to spawn one or one and a half jobs per processor when building Linux kernel. The whole process may take one to two hours depending on your system resources. After kernel is successfully built, install kernel modules, then install kernel itself. Optionally, we can update grub or grub2 configuration file. It's actually included in kernel installation process. At the end, reboot Linux system and check kernel version to be sure old Linux kernel is indeed replaced by the new one. With this brief introduction of the procedure, you can pause the video and try out yourself if you are brief enough. Otherwise, continue with a live demo to find out more details. Recently, I have installed the latest Ubuntu 18.4.3 in VirtualBox. I will use it to do the experiment. But don't worry, I already cloned this virtual machine. If there is anything wrong after upgrading Linux kernel, I still have a backup to restore everything. First, use uname-r to find out the Linux kernel version comes with Ubuntu 18.4.3. It's 5.0.0.31 generic. We will use its configuration file later. Next. Let's update tools to build Linux kernel. Update Ubuntu. Then install git, fake root, build essential, ncurses dev, exit utils, lib ssl dev, bc. After the installation, check GCC version to make sure GCC is available, which is required to compile kernel code. To use menu config utility, we also need to install flex and bison. By the way, it's recommended to use apt instead of apt get. With the tools in place, it's time to download Linux kernel code from kernel.org. Select table of stable version 5.3.6. This is the latest one when I recorded this tutorial video. 
The download size is around 104 megabytes. We will confirm the size later in Ubuntu. After download, I moved the tar file into shared folder with Ubuntu virtual machine. Go to the shared folder and zip it to my home directory with tar command. To compile Linux kernel code, I will change the owner to a user account, not root account. This can be done with command chown, change owner, with option R, which means recursively. Let's find out the size of zipped and unzipped Linux 5.3.6 kernel code. Tar file size is 104 megabytes, and zipped folder size is 987 megabytes. After we build the kernel, we will check the size of source code directory again. This information is for reference only. It won't be used directly in building kernel. I will use the existing Ubuntu boot configuration file as starting point for new Linux kernel build process. Go to boot folder and list the existing files. In my system, there are two boot configuration files, one for 5.0.0.23, another one for 5.0.0.31. To be generic, I will use uname r to get the current used configuration file. Copy it to my home folder where new Linux kernel source code resides. After copy, check if dot config file is there. Run make menu config command. In the pop-up window, you can make the changes you want. Since I use the existing Ubuntu boot configuration file, so I don't need to make any change. Press escape twice and select yes to save the file. Before we start building kernel, one more thing to check. Use mproc command to find out how many processors we can use. It's 4 in my Ubuntu virtual machine with 4 processors. By the way, it has 8 GB memory. We can use 1 or 1 1.5 jobs per processor when building Linux kernel. Now we are ready to build kernel from source code. This is a long process. It may take hours to finish, depending on the hardware. To find out how much time needed on my machine, I will embed time command like this. sudo time make j8. Here j8 means 8 parallel jobs. Normally I use j4 or j6. Here I want to do an experiment with 2 jobs per processor. At the end, it took 1 hour 8 minutes 15 seconds to build kernel. You may have different duration if you follow along this tutorial. How about the size of the source code directory after kernel is built? Use command du or disk usage. We can see now the size is 19 gigabytes. It's much bigger than the original size of 987 megabytes or 1 gigabytes. In other words, it grows 19 times. The next step is to install kernel modules. We can also measure the duration by embedding time in make modules install command. This time, I use 4 jobs. The time to install kernel module is much shorter compared to building kernel. It's 4 minutes 24 seconds. So far, we have compiled the Linux kernel and installed kernel modules. It's time to install the kernel itself. We use make install to copy the kernel and the .config files to the boot folder. The kernel files include system.map init rram fs 
VM Linux. The dot config is used to modify kernel grab configuration file. The step takes two minutes, two seconds. The next step to update grab config is actually optional in Ubuntu. Since it's done in the above make install procedure, for completeness, I still run these two commands, but you will see the output messages are included in make install command. The last step is to reboot the system. Since I'm running Ubuntu in VirtualBox, so I choose PowerOff instead. Then start Ubuntu 18.4 Virtual Machine from VirtualBox. With new Linux kernel, it takes longer time to boot Ubuntu. Login as usual. Open Terminal. Check Linux kernel version with uname-r. It shows 5.3.6 as expected. You can also use option "-a to show all. The Linux kernel is 5.3.6. This concludes the demo of building and deploying Linux kernel. Let me summarize what we have seen in this tutorial. Not the individual steps, not the Linux commands, but some numbers in my test box. I'm running Ubuntu 18.4.3 in VirtualBox. The original Linux kernel version is 5.0.0.31 generic. It's replaced by the latest kernel version 5.3.6 at the end of this tutorial. The zipped new Linux kernel 5.3.6 source code is 104 megabytes. After unzipped, it becomes 987 megabytes. After build, the size increases to 19 gigabytes. It took 1 hour 8 minutes 15 seconds to build the kernel on my machine. The module's installation took 4 minutes 24 seconds. The kernel itself installation took another 2 minutes 2 seconds. These numbers are for your reference when you start building your own Linux kernel. Hopefully, you have learned something you feel useful here. Thanks for watching.